How do you write a great title? How do you get people's attention? If you noticed my Facebook Live at our Driven Inc. page this morning, you'll see that I titled it Being a Trump in a World of Bidens. Uh, everybody feels something about Trump. Uh, everybody feels something about Biden. Uh, everybody feels something about politics. Uh, everybody's like, what the hell does that mean? Is she telling me I have to be Trump? Is she telling me that Biden's not good? Is she telling me Trump is not? What is she talking about? And you want people to go, what is she talking about? Not in a what is she talking about way, but a what is she talking about way, right? And so you want to make sure that those headlines are attention grabbing. So now we're going to move on to how do you get people to show up to your lives? And this is biggie. This is critical. I want you to know that by doing a live does not mean people will come. I want you to know that by doing a live doesn't automatically mean Facebook has a, a minivan full of people just waiting to send out to watch your live. I want you to know by just doing a live doesn't get you attention. And it could get you a few people, all the same people all the time, and that's a problem in itself. So today I want to focus on building your Facebook Live auditorium and filling your Facebook Live auditorium. Can I get a hell yeah if one of your biggest problems or concerns is people actually showing up and watching your Facebook Lives? If that is one of your biggest problems, challenges, or concerns, can you give me a yep? People are having that experience. So let's talk about how you solve that experience. There's a few ways. There's a lot of ways. I'm going to give you what I can in the time we have today. You will notice that it is 1216 right now. We are at our peak of how many people have been live on this Facebook Live so far. We may have hit 120 or 122, but we're, we're within a few people of our peak. That took 13 minutes to get there. Most of you are doing 10 minute Facebook Lives. Hello, hello. It takes a long time for people to find you. It takes a while for people to show up. They're on Facebook or they're not on Facebook or they're scrolling or they get it, but they're doing something else and then they go to it. Or they're seeing it later on when you're doing it. People don't show up as soon as you start a Facebook Live. You need to start as soon as you start a Facebook Live, but people don't show up as soon as you start a Facebook Live. And so here's the deal, guys. You can't be doing these short, puny, lousy Facebook Lives. I understand that some of you are doing that. I understand that some of you are um, uh, getting, a, getting practice, right? Um, but what I'm trying to share with you is that's okay for a little bit of time, but that cannot be your norm. Your norm has to be Facebook lives that at a minimum are 15 to 18 minutes minimum. And your lowest denominator minimum is 11. People will not even start to find you until 11 minutes or longer. So Kim Ward saying, shit, I always thought that I should be in and out. Can I get, was that an aha already today? Was the timing and how long they need to go and how people show up, was that an aha already? There's a few reasons for that. I explained to you, Kelly Rutley saying my lives are less than seven minutes. Kelly, for the content you have and who you are and what you do, 20 minutes minimum for you, sister, my friend, 20 minutes minimum for you. So that's why you, that's reason number one is that people just have to find you. It takes time to get to you. Think about holding an event and you open the doors. It takes time for people to walk through those little turnstiles that they have to walk through. And that's kind of what's happening, right? That's kind of what's happening in a, um, in a Facebook Live. It takes time to get them in the doors. So minimum 15 to 18, rock star 18 to 20, you cannot go less than 11. Don't show up. Don't do the Facebook Live. Don't even do it if you're going less than 11 minutes, all right? Now, here's the other reason. There's an algorithm thing with Facebook. I'm not going to get into the details of that. I sometimes don't even understand all of it, and it changes quite, uh, quite frequently. But there's also a thing to 11, about 11 minutes of creating, of kind of matching up with the algorithms of Facebook Live for it to even kind of put you out there, for it to even... Um, uh, for you to have the potential for your friends and followers to even see it, right? So that's the other reason.